The Clippers beat the Thunder 109-94 last night for the fifth straight win to jump ahead of the Nuggets for the second seed in the West. Kawhi led LA 25 points, eight rebounds. Paul George finishing with 16 points. Stephen A. Is it time to put more pressure specifically on Kawhi's shoulders as we come down the stretch? I think so, and here's why. <clears throat> I think that he's getting, don't get me wrong, it's not his intent or whatever, because mm -hmm. Kawhi ain't running from nothing. He's not running from anything. But here's why I say more pressure needs to be brought to bear to him. Max Kellerman's up here talking about he's the best player in the world. Yeah. He's a reigning two-time uh, NBA Finals MVP and NBA champion, okay? What does he do? He goes to L.A., same city, same arena as LeBron James. Mm -hmm. He puts out advertisements that announces to the world, I'm coming for you. Yeah. And all we talking about is LeBron? I don't think that's right. Excuse me, wait a minute here. You trying to be the best? You want to be recognized the best? You trying to be recognized as a legitimate champion because you were the third wheel in San Antonio when you got the MVP because of your defensive effort against LeBron, who still averaged 28 in those finals, by the way. All right, but Tim Duncan and those boys won a championship. Years later, here you are. KD is hurt. Clay goes down. LeBron ain't in the postseason, etc. So guess what? You got to the championship because you beat a young Greek freak, and before that, you beat Embiid and Simmons in a game seven. Okay, that's fine. Respect. But in the end, when you talk about the creme de la creme of the NBA, the best of the best, you didn't exactly go up against those dudes. So my point is, is that now that you're here with these Clippers, clearly a squad, a loaded squad that should be seen as the favorites. The point that I'm trying to make to you is when you look at your billionaire owner, when you look at your Hall of Fame coach, because just because people don't think that Doc Rivers is great Popovich doesn't mean that they don't think that Doc Rivers is great. Mm -hmm. He's phenomenal as a coach, as a motivator. He's a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer, and he's a champion. That's your coach with that great staff, Ty Lu and Sam Casella and those boys. All right, there are no weaknesses with the Los Angeles Clippers, and this dude is the face, and you got them to, pull, to make a trade to get Paul George. You got them treating you like you the king and everything. Excuse me, I, want, I think that we should be talking about Kawhi and saying, excuse me, what you going to do come playoff time too, just like we talk about LeBron. Now, the answer might be, oh, I'm going to wreak havoc because I know he's that dude. Kawhi is no joke. I'm just talking about the public, Max, the outside. Look at, look at him and hold if you want to be the king. Hold him to the same standard we hold LeBron to. What's wrong with that? Nothing. That's what. That's exactly what that's what I'm happening. Saying. Who have I been talking about the last you. two years? You. I've been talking about Kawhi Leonard because he is the best. I mean, like he was excellent in the regular season last year, but the freak looked like uh, the man. Not the last but two once years. you saw, well, once he got back from injury, no. once you saw him so in the playoffs with a season under him, mm -hmm. right? Because it usually takes a catastrophic injury. It takes a while to get back. By the time the playoffs rolled around, he was the best player on earth. He hasn't relinquished that. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. And here's the thing about Kawhi Leonard. He is a cyborg sent from the future back in time to destroy everyone's hopes and dreams. It wasn't last week when they he, went through that little losing streak he, and he was jumping and pouting on the court. He wasn't that cyborg then? He's, he's trying. Human. He is trying to get Did he just say group. cyborg? Thank Paul you. George is human. Paul George has been hurt, and he is trying to get a group of guys to the promised land. He's leading. My point is all the pressure, all the story of LeBron, the story, that does not phase Kawhi. He's got ice water. So you're right. Not just me. Everyone should be talking about Kawhi. But, but he wants it, Stephen A. I think you are missing for it. the point, though, Stephen A. I think what, people what are... Yeah, I think people aren't talking about Kawhi because Kawhi's personality. People are talking about LeBron. That's not LeBron what I'm makes comments. He's on social the, the, media. That's not what Kawhi's I'm saying. Kawhi's silent. What he I'm doesn't saying, have that presence. What I'm saying is it doesn't matter. When it doesn't matter at certain points, when you're talking about LeBron, and this is where I totally support LeBron and think it's unfair to him, people sit up there and we hold him to the standard. Fine. But we let other dudes off the hook in the process. And what I'm saying is, you want L.A.? You want to be seen as that dude? You want to be validated that you are that dude? Let's put the same amount of pressure I on him, this, hold him this. to the yeah. same standard, and say, what you going to do? Try this. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. Kawhi's got no excuses, and he don't want them. And Le I, I'm you know not who else doesn't have any excuses? It. No excuses? Harden, well, LeBron, 
Time Giannis, time no one has any we, excuses. We, they all we, got squads. We can say they don't mm. want it, but the reality is until we expose them to the same pressure that we expose LeBron to. He's the finals to, MVP. I, 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 no, come Listen, on now, come on now. Part of him saying now. it's no, my please. city, he's the one that's actually from California. Listen, he's not running Listen, from Listen, living up to standards, Shaq's just trying to live up to Stephen A's standard. We talked, <laughs> <laughs> talked about it earlier. He's got the ascot. What is that thing called? That's called the Stephen A. Smith no, right there. No, no, I was talking about oh, his shirt. Oh, hilarious. That? What is that? Hilarious. Like scarf under the shirt. What's that called? That might be an ascot. I gotta see. It's hard yeah. to say. It may just be a scarf. His hairline. That's such a good bet, though. It's, it's rare. That he had to grow his, his hair. His hairline out. actually looks ever. worse than mine. There. I never thought I'd see that. That's I never so thought I'd good. See that. I never thought I'd see that. I love Shaq, that. You know, when you're seven one, three hundred, one of the all-time greats, you do whatever you want. Yeah, Shaq's That's living true. his best life. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.